So just just to finish off on the Everton case, and, and before we before we finish off altogether, Sam, do you mind? Um, we spoke a bit in the last podcast about the possible avenues of appeal, um, and we kind of called came to the common sense that double jeopardy, for lack of a better term, would po- probably one that Everton pushed, and also the loss of the sponsorship of USM. And you spoke specifically about the loss of chance argument, how many sanctions to hook that around. Um, yeah. Loss of chance, you may have seen, is a, is a phrase that is used in, in relation to USM as well in the Commission's report. So do you mind just giving us a quick summary of the mitigation that was accepted for Everton uh, in, in Everton to in the way that you see it? So, so yeah, so as I think, as as you you point out, this was something that which was discussed the last time I was on. Um, the the commission effectively rejects the idea that the Everton shouldn't have placed all its eggs in one basket, which is the what the, the Premier League said uh, when it, when it comes to to relying on money from USM. Um, uh, and and what the Premier League was saying was that Mr. Usmanov had a, a heightened risk profile, and so it was you know, silly for them effectively. To, to rely so heavily upon him. Um, on, on this point, the commission accepted the um, exceptional, I think, and unforeseeable circumstances which led to the loss of the 20 million pounds in revenue. Um, and then they go on actually to draw attention to, um, to, to, to that credit being, being seriously limited by the business decisions made by Everton during financial year 2023. Um, so, so on, it, on the one hand, they they sort of they accept the the mitigation as put forward, but then go on to say, well, actually there were some some um, business decisions which left much to be desired, which you know, go some way to 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 not extinguishing, but certainly um, making up some of the ground that, that the mitigation uh, removes. Um, so Everton definitely had the stronger argument here. I think the, the Premier League's position, i.e., and this is something we we, we talked about previously about you know the evasion of Crimea the poisoning episodes in the UK that they were the necessary red flags that would have uh, given the, the the Everton board pause for thought um that they were held to be kind of a nice point in hindsight ultimately though that it would be too much to ask that the Everton should should take those matters into account when, when they were considering kind of prudent management of, of sponsorship risk that that I think has to be right um and so the position we find ourselves in is that, in summary, um, Everton's mitigation in relation to, firstly, the, the loss of the revenue uh, they would have received pursuant to what's been called the Finch Farm Agreement, which is effectively well, all of the stuff coming from um, USM. Um, and secondly, that their guilty plea, that they were taken together to result in, in a further reduction of one point, um, which is then how you get from the five down to the three and then to, to the two points. Uh, which were which were finally imposed as a sanction. Yes, absolutely, and yeah. So the yeah the double jeopardy argument is where it, it was essentially that the the commission did a bit of a calculation, didn't they, and worked out that if taking yeah. sixteen point five million breach, it was just under fifty percent. So just under fifty percent of five points is two points. I think that's yeah. fair enough to so say, the, and and that got taken off as well. So so the the. the it, the, the sanction really starts with the double jeopardy argument. Uh, yes. And this is this is a, this is an interesting and, and probably just worth me exploring it briefly. Um, the commission made clear in, in the in the uh, decision that the EFL guidelines, which set out the position that the EFL would take where a sanction has been in, imposed previously, that they were a helpful benchmark, but couldn't be transposed directly into the Premier League rules. Not least because. The Premier League had made no provision for such guidelines, and as we discussed earlier, it's a it's a joint venture, um, and it could have done that if the clubs had wanted to. Uh, as far as double jeopardy goes, the the, the Commission held that it was um, incumbent on uh, on on it to to acknowledge that any sanction on Everton in respect of the financial year twenty twenty three needed to be reduced in order to reflect the fact that Everton had already been sanctioned for for years. Which are also included in the current PSR calculation for financial year 2023, and so the two-point sanction was arrived at. They arrived at that by determining that Everton had already received a penalty for just under 50% of the loss, uh, which has now led to its um, it being in excess of the upper loss threshold, and so the, the maths effectively followed that it would be appropriate to reduce the penalty by a half. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Now, they, in fact, went from five to three because they were dealing with whole numbers. Um, and and they uh, then the additional point was removed for the further reasons of mitigation, i.e. the early plea, the, 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 the um, USM point, which we spoke about.